just uh, seven more days and my cards should be here I have 3,000 this is gonna be on one side I want to explain it again uh, now this this is after a couple of years of me just watching the moon and uh, I got real excited I started watching it and uh, just within a few months the Lord showed me that the moon aims up and down at the same time so uh, here's the first frame and the guy's just looking at the moon and he goes okay no big deal uh, I'm looking at the moon it, it aims it rises and aims uh, at the two o'clock position okay that's what I established after about two years of observation I figured I could make it aim at the two o'clock position now there's there's really uh, one day maybe two days uh, in every month that you want to look at it's a, when it's about 55 percent uh, you know there's a little bit more than half okay and you you just stare at it and think about it until you know that you know that you know that you know that this moon is aiming up at the two o'clock position this is uh, after sunrise okay and it'll it'll go up and up and up and up but not so high as you would call it zenith the, as high as it's going to get that day because after when it gets really close to zenith it starts to turn okay but you look at it up until before zenith all right and uh and then you look at the I, I say sunset that's a real good time and so you know you have to wait till the moon is uh, 55 56 57 percent illuminated like that so the Sun will be setting and it'll still be before Zenith all right and you and you you got one eye that's uh, kind of yellow and the other eye that's blue and you just shift your eyes back and forth back and forth and align them all right and you see that the moon now is not aiming up at the two o'clock position it's aiming down at the setting sun okay now that's a phenomenon that it aims up and down at the same time we live on a flat earth under a dome okay all the stars are in the firmament the bible says that in genesis uh, three times uh, it's in chapter one three times the stars are in the firmament the stars are in the firmament the stars are in the firmament and you know it's uh, in the firmament under a dome because you're seeing the moon Ava up and down at the same time it means you're you're using the light that goes from the surface of the earth the horizon up to the moon okay using that straight light showing it aimed straight up or not straight up but at the up at the two o'clock position and then when you establish it with the setting Sun well the the light that you're using to see the moon as you're seeing the Sun and the moon at the same time you're seeing that light that goes up a little bit and then curves down all the way down to the horizon to the Sun see so, so you actually see the arch and that's why you see it aimed down now this was this is within a nanosecond but between this as fast as you can uh, tilt your head back to normal here here's normal here's tilted normal you know you just stand there just look at the, the moon like you would normally you know, just look up that's normal Here's a you know a little tilt like that because you want to align. See my eyes down at the sun, up at the moon, down at the sun, up at the moon. You align, all right. So uh, you might suffer a little embarrassment if anybody sees you do that. But scientists get embarrassed sometimes. They use them themselves in, a, in an experiment. And if you don't do experiments, uh, you're not going to get this. You won't believe it. You got to do start doing experiments and wake up that the Earth is flat. Then you won't go back to sleep, even if you find out other stuff and there's other stuff going on <laughs> good luck